Hey, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we'll be continuing on with our PTH 110 label maker series. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do the accented characters and how to feed tape through this machine. Just save you a couple steps. Let's get started. Before I walk you through this though, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel. Seriously, I think now I need like, what is it? 897 more of you. I'm so close. So close. Subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our channel. And if you've got like Facebook, share it, subscribe it, like get everyone to do it. I beg ya. Okay, now let's get started. So for the accent characters, what you're gonna wanna do, start by turning your machine on. And then you'll notice here, you've got this little button right here. This is your accented characters button. Um, so to get started, it's pretty easy and user friendly, but let's say we have our word. And I'm going to use the word jalapeno. I think it's pretty common. So this N right here, you want to be accented. Oh, I'm just seeing I've got a capital letter in there. But for this example, we're going to let that go. Um, and we've typed, we hit the N, we've typed that in. And then we're going to hit this little accent button. Now this example is easy because that first, it's the first option there. But say you want to change it and you want something different. What you can do is you can either hit the arrows or you can go back and hit this button, your accent button, and the more you hit that, you'll notice here it's changing your accents. Sorry, it's hard to make sure that you can see the buttons and a good view of the screen here. But so you've got your N, we're gonna go ahead and click OK, and then just finish it off with an O and you've got jalapeno. Um, I'm gonna hit the back button here and delete everything. Um, let's see here, say you want a different word. Um, We'll go click an I here, and then we're going to hit the accent key. And this one's a good example because we are going to filter through. And then I've got one that I want. I'm going to hit OK, and then I can finish out that word. Um, now, again, when you are typing or you have a word, so let's say for this example, we'll do the accent. To change your accents around, you can either arrow through your options or you can hit the accent key and arrow through. Once you've got what you're looking for, just simply hit OK. Or you can go backspace. And it's pretty easy to type in words, um, longer words. So we'll do the C here. And it's smart too, because it already kind of knows what you're going to do. I don't know if you've noticed, but each letter I've clicked started with a different accent character. It's guessing what it thinks you want. Um, so we'll do the C. I'm going to hit OK. And then A, D, N. And then you've got that. And then if you like what you've got, you can go ahead and hit print. And you've got your manual color here. Feed OK. Now, <laughs> You'll notice here it's still in some funky font. This is from last week's example um, when I did an italic shadow bold font. Um, if you want to know how to make your fonts fun like this, check out last week's video. Now, if you're watching this and you're cringing at my nails, that means you should subscribe to our channel so I can get a raise and go get my nails done. Because if not, this is what they look like. And this is sad. Nobody wants this, including myself. <laughs> Now moving on to feed tape. Every once in a while you want to feed tape. Now you have a few different options. So what you'll do, menu and go to feed. Um, this is, it's already on there because this was the last uh, option I selected. It's eight out of 10, but you can scroll through. And now we have feed. If you hit just feed like this, it says, please cut. It's just going to do one inch of label tape. Now, another option you could do is if you wanted um, long margins or like something a little different, you could um, do menu, feed, right? And then it says, please cut. And then you want you can just hit escape. And so you've, tape's been fed, you have not cut. And then you could type in, hey, and then print. And then feed okay please cut. So now you have that extra space here and we could have added a space at the end. Sometimes that feeds great um, if you are just looking to add a little length there or if you want to be able to write on your own label or you know whatever project you're doing it's just a great option to be able to you know know all the tips of your machine. 
and it's as easy as that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please thumbs up our video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on what we do next week with this PTH 110 label maker. And for future, if there's anything that you want to see us do with the label maker, just put it in the comments below. I do like to check these when I remember. <laughs> and so just comment below what you'd like me to do. Um, and this way we can try to include it um, during this series or if you have a machine um, at home that you want to see featured and have us, you know, do a series on it, comment your what label maker you're using below and then we can see if we can do that for a series because I'm always looking to see what everyone likes um, to label with so I can try to help you out and get the tips that are relevant to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.